On today's Apple Daily, Craig Federici talked to popular mechanics on how iPad does handwriting recognition. Amazon announces Prime Day on the Apple Events Day, or at least when we think the Apple Event Day is. And how widgets aren't stealing your keystrokes. This is the Apple Daily. I'm David for Living on iPad, and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you. If you want the latest Apple news, leaks, and rumors every weekday at 12 UTC, like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, get your notifications so you never miss a thing. Craig Federici talked to Popular Mechanics on how iPad does handwriting recognition. So yes, Craig Federici has been talking to Popular Mechanics about exactly how iPad's handwriting recognition works. They talk about a lot of stuff here and I'll read a little excerpt from it. When it comes to understanding handwriting strokes, we do data gathering. We find people all over the world and we have them write things, says Craig Federici, Senior Vice President of Software Engineering at Apple. We give them a pencil and we have them write fast, we have them write slow, write at a tilt, all this variation. That methodology is distinct from the comparatively simple approach of scanning and analyzing existing handwriting. Federici says for Apple's tech that static examples weren't enough, they needed to see the strokes that formed each letter. If you understand the strokes and how the strokes went down, that can be used to disambiguate what was being written. Apple's 1997 Ooh. Emate 300 uh, did some very similar stuff. Um, and it's absolutely fascinating what this thing can do. We have no power. Because this was your pencil at the time. You've got a couple of little wells at either side that you can pop it in while you're not using it. And this thing had handwriting recognition. This thing had a lot of the features and tricks that the Apple... This thing had a lot of the tricks and features that Apple has now introduced for iPad. Of course, it was a little bit rudimentary because this was back in the late 90s. However, at the time, it must have seemed absolutely magical. It's pretty magical now when the iPad does it. To be able to write directly onto the screen of a device like this and have it turn into typed text is pretty fantastic. Um, to be able to draw shapes and have them regularized, not a word, but it's one that I'm uh, gonna go with, um, that was pretty magical. It also even uses some of the things like for scrubbing out text, which is exactly what was going on with Apple at the event. Now the stuff that I've just thrown up on the screen is from Snazzy Labs video. It's from quite a while back. It's not one that I don't I think is particularly, you know, pushing at the moment, but I will leave a link in the description and you can find it up here as well. And uh, go and check out Snazzy Labs. Quinn makes some amazing videos. If you haven't seen his stuff yet, definitely worth checking out. Amazon announces Prime Day on the Apple Events Day, or at least when we think the Apple Event Day is. So Amazon Prime Day this year will be falling on the 13th and 14th of October. Now the 13th is pretty much where everyone has kind of agreed amongst themselves that the uh, Apple Event is gonna take place. I kind of predicted it, then it was confirmed by a bunch of people, so I'm quite pleased with that. I didn't have inside information, which is nice. But every, every year, Prime Day is one of those days that tech bloggers and YouTubers and stuff go to town absolutely on uh, all the deals that are on there, share them with their audiences, especially for the guys that are using Amazon Affiliates. Now I've got an Amazon Affiliates account. I will leave a link down there and you can click on it. And if you buy anything through Amazon, if you're buying stuff anyway, it costs you no more, but it helps to support me. But I have a feeling some YouTubers are gonna be pretty overwhelmed on the 13th and 14th with all the new Apple stuff that we expect to be coming out. And how widgets aren't stealing your keystrokes. And finally, uh, there are rumors going around that the widgets that have been built into iOS 14 are somehow stealing keystrokes, compromising passwords, all that sort of thing, which is just absolutely untrue. The post apparently went viral when an iPhone user said that their keyboard would lag and wouldn't show the characters as they were being typed and claimed that this and a security code autofill feature were evidence that their keystrokes were being tracked. The way that Apple actually builds all of iOS pretty much prohibits a lot of this stuff from happening. It only allows very, very basic background system information to be gathered. Anything built with widget kit um, for widgets are passive displays of data from apps, so they can't collect any data. They don't have the capacity to do that. And in addition to that, Apple's sandboxing feature is the way that it completely separates the data from individual apps and doesn't allow uh, apps to access other apps. 
without notifying you is also evidence of this. Uh, you will notice if you're now on iOS 14 that as soon as you paste something from one app to another, you get a notification at the top of the screen to tell you that you've pasted something from another app. All of these things that Apple builds in to iOS from the start is the sort of stuff that will actually protect you from these potential issues that aren't really issues, but they were just kind of being mentioned because someone wanted to get some clicks. It's things like this that make iOS so much more secure than the other mainstream operating systems for mobiles out there, shall we say. So in a little bit of other news, uh, I had a shipping notification yesterday that my Apple Watch will be arriving today. So if I get time, I will try and get a little unboxing video of that up. Uh, it's going to be the SE Nike version, so I'm not sure how the packaging is going to look for that. I've seen some of the Nike stuff, which is the nice black stuff. I've seen the SE stuff, which is the white stuff. So I don't know if you get the black cool Nike packaging if you get an SE version rather than going for the very expensive one, but we will see. Tomorrow we will unpackage it together and uh, I will let you know a little bit more about how I use Apple Watch at the moment and the fact that I'm moving up from a Series 0 up to a uh, SE should be quite the jump. I've also got another video in the works right now which is about upgradability for Apple Silicon Macs, what we expect them to be able to do on what we don't because we're kind of taking iPad and iPhone, which are kind of zero upgradability, and putting them into computers, laptops, desktop formats, which typically have had some upgradability in the past. So we're gonna discuss which way it's likely to go. Um, it's probably gonna upset some people. We'll investigate it, and we're also gonna have a look at what Apple could do to maintain some upgradability and to reduce some of the environmental impact of their products, which Apple loves to do. So that's it for today. If you want to join the notification squad, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and let me know in the comments that you did, and I will give you a shout out in one of our videos. Uh, until then, oh, meant to mention, we are right on the brink, as I film this, of 500 uh, subscribers. We're actually on 494. We picked one up while I've been filming in the last 10 minutes. Uh, I made this little sign on my door when we hit 100, which was on the 2nd of September. This is... Uh, cardboard um, painted with children's poster paint. So from the 2nd of September to the 29th of September, which is when I'm filming this, sorry, the 28th of September, we have basically gone 5x on our subscribers. So thank you so much for that. If you're not subscribed, which I know about 80% of you are not, uh, probably 85%, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. I put a lot of effort into my videos. There are a lot more coming. And in the next couple of weeks, there's gonna be a lot of videos. So please join us for the ride. I hope you enjoy this content and thank you so much for watching.